In this chapter, we're going to talk about associative collections. An associative collection is a collection where a value is associated with a key that is used to look up the value. So a common example of an associative collection is the phone book, where you use a person's name to look up their phone number. The name is the key, and the phone number is the value that you're looking for. In Java, the interface that associative collections are built on is the map interface. So we're looking at the documentation page for the map interface now. And so you'll notice that at the very beginning here, we have map and then k, comma, v, which represent type parameters for the key and the value. So that's the first thing you have to know about working with maps, is that we're going to enter a data type for the key and a data type for the value. And they don't have to be the same. In a phone book application, they might be. String for the name, string for the number. Well, let's say we were making a grade book. There we would have string for the name and some numeric type, double or integer, for the value. So let's scroll down a little bit and take a look at the methods that make up the interface, and we're not going to look at all of them. I'm just going to mention a couple right now. The first one we're going to talk about is put. Put is the main method for adding data to a map. So we have a key and a value that we can add to a collection. The main method for retrieving information is get, where all we provide is a key, and then the value is returned if the key is found. After those two, we have primarily maintenance methods, such as remove to remove a key, size to find the size, values, which returns all of the values stored in a map, and then key set, which returns all of the keys. So those are the primary methods that are used in implementing the map interface. So without further ado, let's move on to the first real lesson of this chapter where we're going to look at a particular implementation of the map interface, and that's a class called the tree map.